Let us show the new Service Center UI that iSamSense brings. If I log in into Chuck, who is a manager of this fictitious company, um, what users of iSAM6 see is actually these two boxes, Request Access and View Access. I added these two boxes, but very easy, no coding required. And I'll get back to those uh, in shortly in this video. So what now managers can do is they can request, Chuck can request stuff for himself as well as requesting stuff for any one of his uh, people who reports on to him. So let's say that he wants to report, he wants to add things uh, for James. And let's say that he wants to add, no, notice the new interface. It's actually a shopping cart type of uh, metaphor and he has you know, nice, uh, encourage people to put accesses to the things that are easy to be found rather than account and things that are more IT related, these are more business related. So let's say he wants to give uh, this gentleman access to the broker and the East uh, region file share, it's a Windows, uh, on another VM that we have here in the system. So he goes into either next or click here into the next step and he's requested to provide information which he can put the notification that's going to show on the actual uh, report and he can click in here and you know specify additional information notice that the, f the file permission he can actually add you know some additional file permissions in here for this uh, file share so when he's done he can just uh, submit the request request that uh, been uh, process and he can uh, continue. So the, the other thing that um, ISAM 6 allows you to do kind of a web single sign-on, a pass-through to traditional things that uh, are not covered by the service center. Like let's say that you want to do a uh, recertification or attestation. Uh, I added these two boxes and it was very easy as I said before. And by clicking into this box we actually pass through into the traditional uh, self-help UI that uh, ISAN 5 has and ISAN 6 still has them. So for those things that are not covered by the service center, you can actually, you know, go here as before and, you know, on this recertification, you can say uh, this, yes, that, no, provide the, the certification, you know, the comments that will go into the recertification report, uh, etc. right? So, again, it is a bridge between uh, the things that uh, that we don't have in Service Center, needless to say, the Service Center will keep adding on this new metaphor, this modern interface, all those uh, things uh, that are required. So here I have a few reports, uh, you know, as simple to, to actually be used as the other ones that we had before, you know, can be only uh, text-based. These are now done with Cogno, so it's even easier, more powerful, and you can include very nice graphics uh, should you need uh, to have those you know included as part of your uh, your reports so uh, these these two uh, additions the new service center ui and and the reports are the two things that i wanted to highlight about the the things that iSIM 6 springs you know the same reliable engine that we uh, always have had but now with a much more interface and um, better reporting.